Today, we are taking a look at a hoverbar developed by 12South. The most famous hoverboard has to be the one that Marty McFly uses in the Back to the Future trilogy. 12South is trying to do the same thing with a hover bar. No, not the bar you get your glug 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 drinks from. This one is for your iPad, making it a hands-free device, so essentially freeing your hands to do other stuff. Before we get into this review, it's time to jump into the DeLorean and set the time display to Tech Force. Why, you ask? Well, that's because it's Tech Force time. Let's jump right into the box. Here we have the iPad clip. Then this is the desk base with the attached arm. Here is the shelf clamp. And this is a large hex wrench, a four millimeter. Then over here, we've got the small hex wrench, and this is a three millimeter. So everything we need to get started is provided. Now, what is a hover bar and why do I need one in my life? Well, it's a mount for your iPad and it can make your iPad a primary monitor. This is great, especially if you're doing work that doesn't require the use of a mouse or keyboard, but rather a touch pen. Also, it's perfect for video calls and second screens, and I'm sure you can think of a hundred more uses. Why not tell me in the comments below what your best application would be? How would you use this device? Before we can use the hoverboard duo, there is some assembly. Out of the box, you have to attach the iPad clip to the head of the adjustable arm. This is completed by simply twisting it onto the screw mount. The adjustable arm is designed to be used with either the weighted stand base or the shelf clamp. It is initially attached to the weighted stand base, but after removing the single screw over here, you can swap it out for the clamp. It's great that we have both options because you never know when you might want to use the other attachment. Let's take a closer look at the build quality. The adjustment screws, the base plate and the clamp all seem very sturdy. And good attention to detail that the two hex keys are supplied. I just love it when manufacturers use their heads. A little common sense goes a long way. What I really like about this product is its flexibility with so many positions possible. You can rotate it into portrait or landscape and it allows you to make video calls from eye level rather than from a desk level. And while you're on the call, the device is also stable, so no shaky video calls for the person watching you. Something that might irritate you a little bit is that you have to remove your iPad from its case every time you want to use the bracket. The hover bar can't hold the weight and it'll begin to sag. This could be a deal breaker because it might be a mission to get your iPad out of your specific case. It relies on friction to keep the iPad in any given position, which feels barely adequate considering the weight of iPads. Also, if your iPad needs a charge, you have to take it out of the holder just to charge it. That is so annoying! The last thing I feel that needs some improvement is when you have to switch between the base and the clamp. This requires using an Allen key to unscrew the one and fit the other, which is hardly user-friendly. Some sort of quick release mechanism is not unreasonable to expect at this price point. Just make our lives a little bit easier. And on this note, please smash the like and subscribe button to make my life a little bit easier. It would be much appreciated um, if you shared this video with someone you know who might be interested in the hover bar. Then, if you like these 12 South products, check out in the links below the description to the other videos we've shot. They've got some very cool products. In conclusion, the biggest disappointment for me is this changing of the arm from the stand to the shelf mount. This is not a simple process. It requires some DIY, a spacer, and following assembly instructions. Don't expect to be hopping between the two of these mounts with great ease. It is a little bit of work. A regular iPad will shake slightly anytime you touch it. This makes the stand 
fine if you're just doing some reading or viewing of videos, but it's not great if you're typing on it or doing anything that requires you to touch the actual screen. I just wouldn't recommend it. It serves a helpful purpose and serves a functional use. However, many negatives are hard to look past, making the 80 pound price tag seem rather mm, expensive. It's up to you. If you need it and you think this will make your life a little bit easier, go out and grab it. Until next time, bye bye. A hover bar. Hmm. Why don't they make a real bar that hovers? You know, like the one you get in the pool. You can have your cool drink in there and it's just floating around. Imagine having a bar that just followed you around with your drink on it. Oh, there we go. Another invention. Oh, brought to you by Techful.